So, growing your TikTok followers from 0 to 100k followers, in my case for just one month and one week. And today I'm gonna share some tips and tricks with you how I did it and what are the most important things you have to do to gain more followers more quickly. If you're new around here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to follow me on TikTok as well, the link will be down in the description. But I have to warn you, I do my TikTok video in my language. So if you don't speak my language, it, which is Khmer, you can just follow and don't watch my video I won't say anything else let's get straight into the videos the first point that I'm going to share with you is to post something that you're really good at this is the first important step in doing your TikTok videos on any platform actually on YouTube on Facebook especially on TikTok uh, knowing what you're doing is a really good start on your videos and also it help boost your confidence in front of the camera and it also help attract your audience because your, uh, your viewers might watch your videos knowing that this guy know what he's doing know what he's saying so you will attach those um, viewers into your videos and maybe follow you as well for example if you're good at makeup make your video around makeup daily makeup or you know party makeup if you're good at um, photo editing video editing make some tip and trick about that if you're good at cars make some videos based around cars if you are good at um, computer make videos about how to boost your FPS on computers or how to make your computer faster any sort of along those lines you know make something that you are really confident because this also connect to another tip that I will share later on on this video as well. Number two is to have a great hook. So TikTok video is around one minute long maximum. So the first three to four seconds, you have to have a great hook to your audience to attach them, to attract them to watch your videos. Let me give you an example. If you are doing videos on removing background on um, any photo, so you have to start your intro with remove background on any photo. Your viewer will watch, you know, three to four seconds in and they will know exactly what they are watching what your video is all about do not start your intro with hi guys my name blah 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 and today i'm gonna blah 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 they will definitely scroll past your video because it's starting to get boring tiktok is a quick and fast platform that you have to adapt really quickly especially in those intro you have to hook your audience into your videos as fast as possible even though you're doing youtube you have to have a great hook as well anything that try to attract your audience and attach them to your videos maybe watching till the end and follow you as well number three is to post consistently if you have enough time if you have a lot of ideas post your video on a daily basis do not post a video on monday and post again on friday do not do that because people will forget about you and your follower will start to drop as well the first day that i start doing my tiktok videos i post every single day uh, maybe the first week i post twice a day but i i am having you know less time less free time so i started to post on daily basis you can also take a day off maybe on sunday or monday but you have to post at least six day a week to make sure that your content is always on the fyp page make sure you post entertaining content even though your content is about you know education make sure to twist your video into some sort of entertainment and any sort because watching education video might get a little bit boring so you have to you know twist it a little bit to make sure it entertain people as well as educating them at the same time the good thing about tiktok is it doesn't require a lot of time to make a single video it is not like youtube you have to spend three four five six hour shooting and editing videos on tiktok you have to spend like in my case i spent 14 minutes maximum on editing my tiktok video and post them straight away number four is to interact with your audience interacting with your audience is really important on a lot of platform especially youtube and tiktok tiktok algorithm is now changed to the the more that you interact with your comment your audience the more percentage that your video will be put on the fyp pages as i said in the first tips knowing your topic is really important because if you post a videos without any researching or don't have any idea what your video is all about you will be struggling to answer some of the comments that your viewers will ask you in your videos because if you do video like i said removing background on any photos there might be someone or somebody out there who struggle who don't understand what you really mean or you doing your tutorial too quickly they might ask a question and you have the uh, ability to answer those questions 
important as well and it made them think that oh maybe this guy really know his stuff really you know understand what he's doing on his videos number five is to plan your ideas ahead of time like i said you have to post consistently so you have to make an idea list to make sure that you have video idea to post today tomorrow and after tomorrow as well i'm gonna give you some tips so if you have less idea or don't have any idea to post on your tiktok videos just go to other people tiktok's videos that do the same niche as you or the same similar content as you i do not say that you have to copy them 100 percent but just go to the comments on their video and look at it there might be a lot of questions that people ask on the videos and you might understand or you might know a lot about it make sure to note it down and you know and possibly make it as your videos number six which is the last part on these videos is to have a good quality cameras a microphone or audio and a good quality of lighting i don't know about you guys but for me if i watch a good quality tiktok videos i almost attract to it immediately so about the cameras you can use your iphone cameras which is a really good start um, but for me now i use the compact cameras uh, the sony cv1 to make sure my videos in is in hd and uh yeah i i just really like using it because it make my video feel more a production videos uh, i put a lot of effort into it and also if you have a budget spend it on a mirrorless cameras or a sony camera like mine which is a compact camera really easy to use but i recommend you to use your iphone as as a starting point and uh, let's see if you like it if you do just keep using it if you don't maybe invest in another cameras and about audio if you have the money use the uh, microphone that is in high quality you can also use this kind of microphone uh, I use it and it really does a good job and I also use the microphone that I'm recording this video right now to my TikTok video as well it make the quality much much higher and also the lighting if you have access to natural light inside your room uh, make a good use of it make sure to use natural light to light up your face and make your video much much better if you have a natural light but if you don't use a you know led light or maybe a softbox if you have one or or any light that you have around around you or inside your house laying around make use of it and make sure to have a good quality light so make sure to have a good quality cameras uh, audio and light and yeah to make your video much higher quality so this is it for today video i hope you guys enjoy um i apologize if my english is not understandable well enough but i try my best and i hope you guys like it um if you have any question you can ask me down below and yeah make sure to subscribe and i see you guys on the next video peace bye, -bye.